Howdy folks and welcome back to the DIY HVAC Guy YouTube channel. Um, I've had a lot of people recently ask me uh, where can I find good HVAC equipment as a DIYer, as a homeowner that I can purchase and save money when it comes to installing a new HVAC system. So in this video I'm going to show you two websites that are an excellent resource when it comes to ordering HVAC equipment. Uh, why it's a good um, resource, um, how to navigate both websites, and how to really hone in and make sure that you're getting the right equipment for your house. Make sure and watch to the end of the video because throughout we give a lot of good tips, uh, specifically with Goodman equipment on how to size them and what to look for when it comes to sizing uh, your equipment and making sure you have the right stuff in your cart. So we're here at HVACdirect.com. We see just how easy uh, this website is to navigate. We have right here at the top cooling, all of these different cooling options, and then furnace and air conditioner systems. Under heating, we have uh, things that are more targeted toward heating, but we also have furnace and air conditioning systems, uh, ductless mini split systems, things that are specific for mobile homes, and as you can see, uh, you see when people buy stuff. <laughs> um, we have fans and air cleaning, fireplaces and outdoors, parts and tools. And we also have a nice financing option, 0%, and our customer support system here. So first of all, if we're looking for a system and we go to cooling, furnace, and air conditioning systems, when we click on that, uh, we'll notice uh, the different options that we have available. So under this cooling and furnace and air conditioning systems, uh, we have uh, certain things that are on sale. AirQuest, that's one of the common brands that is um, sold with HVAC Direct. Uh, this comes with a 10 year warranty. And as a homeowner, you do need to look into the warranty because if you don't have this installed by an HVAC contractor, you probably won't get that warranty. However, that being said, you can also order this equipment and uh, do this job partially yourself and have an HVAC contractor weld the line set, uh, pull a vacuum, set up the charge, and it's a high possibility that they can register the equipment for you under their license. So do your research on that. We also see Goodman. Um, if this is warrant, uh, registered as a HVAC contractor, all of this equipment will be a 10-year warranty as well. Uh, but they have a bunch of different combos. So say you're looking for a two and a half ton system, just type in two and a half ton system, hit enter, and you will see the different options available. So you can scroll through if you need a gas furnace, 80%, uh, this is a 90%, 80,000 BTU. You can just go through and find the correct system that you need. So say for instance, I have a two and a half ton 96% furnace and it's 80,000 BTU. Uh, this is a 13 sear system, uh, but that's a horizontal co uh, evaporator co coil. Wow, I can't talk today. Uh, this is a two and a half ton, 13 sear, 96%, 60,000. What we can also do is dial this in. Two and a half ton system, we're looking for 80,000 BTU, 96%. So you can just type in these keywords here. Now we see that's exactly what we were after. Two and a half ton. This is a 13 sear, 96%, 80,000 BTU with a vertical coil. Um, if we're looking for say a 14 sear, we can scroll down uh, right there. That could be what we're after. So they have all these different combinations that you can pick from. And then once you click on one of these, it will give you all of the dimensions. So uh, if you're gonna replace your furnace yourself, make sure that you measure uh, the width of your furnace and the coil. To make it easier on yourself as far as the installation, you can scroll down where it uh, goes over the uh, furnace. Okay, so the evaporator coil is 21 inches. So if you have a 17 inch, system you would want to find a combo that says 17 inch under the evaporator cased coil 
and then um, the furnace as well. So with Goodman, uh, one thing that you can look at when you see your furnace, if it doesn't show the width of the furnace anywhere in the dimensions, uh, you can look at the model number. This one is a GME C96 that indicates your percentage, uh, efficiency percentage. This 080 indicates the tonnage, so it's an 80,000, or excuse me, the BTU. If this was a, a 100,000 BTU, it would say 100 here. And that's a three ton drive, and it's a B width. So that indicates that it's a 17 inch or 17 and a half inch cabinet. So if this says A width, it's going to be a 14. If it says B, it's going to be a 17 and a half. If it says C, it's going to be 21. And then if it says D here, it's going to be a 24 inch. So that's something to keep in mind when you're looking at any Goodman furnaces. So anyways, you can go through and find the right combo here on um, HVAC Direct's website. Again, very easy to navigate. Um, they have sales going on periodically. Uh, right now it's a prime day sale that they have going on. Now let's check out Amazon, not Pamazon. Say we're looking for the same thing, two and a half ton HVAC system. So we can scroll through here and we can find all kinds of equipment. Uh, this would be an air handler for a heat pump with electric strips. Um, but if we keep scrolling, we'll see what we're after. So there's a two and a half ton 14 sear, 80,000, but it's an 80% furnace. And you can type in keywords to again, hone in on the combination that you're after. But you kind of just do this same process you can see in the picture it's not uh, a vertical coil, so that's not what we're after. And you can just scroll through, and if we want to um, slim down the results, let's put 80,000 in the search description. So we'll get, that's the 80,000, 80%, but we're looking for a 96% with a vertical coil. So here we go, we've got Oh, that's a three ton. So we keep scrolling. That's a three ton. There's a two ton, uh, two and a half ton, but it's got a vertical coil. Here we go. So this is a two and a half ton, 13 sear bundle. So this has a 96% furnace and a vertical coil. So at this point, we would just open this. So when we open up this system, uh, we see right off, these are the dimensions. So again, so if we're looking at this letter here, that's a B, that indicates that this is going to be a 17 and a half width from this to this, and the same here. So this is a 96%, we see the two uh, PVC parts here, and also if we look at the part number here, we see the 96, so we're verifying that it's a 96% furnace, 17 and a half width, vertical coil, and this could very well be the combination that we're after. So again, you just have to go through, find the right combination. You can actually get Ream, Goodman, all kinds of different brands here on Amazon. So I just wanted to reiterate this point. Um, as a homeowner, as a DIYer, you can do different levels of this project yourself. There's people all over YouTube that say you should never do this. Um, I don't agree with that, but there are certain things you can do and certain things that you can hire out. So say uh, you get a bid for $15,000 or even $10,000 is a low rate for a new system these days. On HVAC Direct, you find a system for $4,000 shipped to your door. You do the install, you remove the furnace, you remove the condenser, you pump all the Freon into the condenser if it's still running. You put the new system in place and you fit the lines or, or even maybe you don't want to fit the lines. Maybe you want to save that for a contractor. So you have the contractor come out, fit the lines, weld them, pressure test. Um, say he charges you, even on the high end, say he charges you $1,000 for a day's worth of work to button up the system. You've spent $5,000. You've saved $5,000 
and you've gained some experience, you still have an awesome system, and you can say that you did it yourself. So the savings here is just phenomenal, really, uh, when you think about it. So if you feel confident in uh, doing a system or even uh, the AC side of things, you can do the coil and the condenser, leave your furnace. Uh, there's all kinds of different combinations, as you saw on the website. Uh, if you feel confident doing different parts of this job, it can mean a ton of money that you're keeping in your pocket. Just keep that in mind when you're uh, planning this out and thinking about your involvement in this project. So another additional question that you're probably wondering as a homeowner, as a DIYer is, how do I make sure that I've got the right size equipment? Um, in this video, we went over the right um, width and the right dimensions of the system, but how do I know as far as BTU tonnage that I'm sizing the system correctly uh, before I purchase the equipment? So in the next video, I'm gonna show how to use this website to properly size your HVAC system and make sure that you got the right equipment. Um, I've sized many homes, installed many HVAC systems with no issues um, using this size guide and it's an invaluable tool uh, really. So uh, make sure and hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you know when that video comes out. And I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, learned a thing or two. If so, leave it a like and we'll catch y'all in the next one. Later.